YouTube, how you doing? Papa D, POV here. Today I'm going to do an update video. Uh, I had a video I did previously. It was an installation of an 1140 tooth cassette on a gravel bike. You know, you can use it on a road bike also, but anyway, a road bike setup, Shimano 105. Had a lot of good uh, results, a lot of views on that, a lot of questions. So what I thought I would do is do an update video and answer some of those questions, go over a few little things that people seem to be interested in, and then see if that helps them out, okay? And uh, also, if you're not familiar with the previous video, uh, check the link. Uh, it should pop above right now, and there'll be a link to the previous video on the installation of that uh, 1140 tooth cassette. I won't go into all of that again. This will basically just be answering the questions, some of the basics that people are interested in knowing, just sort of a part two, I guess you could say. But also, remember, if you like the videos, like, subscribe, it helps out a whole lot. And uh, if you like the content, remember at the end of this video, if you have more questions, add questions. And if so, I'll make another video or I'll answer you personally. I always answer the questions. That's what I like to do, so that's why we're here. Okay, YouTube, one of the top questions was, which group set? Am I running? Okay. It's a 2020 Trek Checkpoint gravel bike. And it came stock with a R7000 Shimano 105 11 speed, which is an R7000. Okay. Which has a 5034 compact crank. It also came with an 1134 rear cassette. And one of the other questions was did the derailleur? The derailleur is a medium length derailleur. It is a, uh, I actually have the number here, the Shimano 105 RD7000GS means medium cage derailleur. And that's good for a cassette that has a range of 1128 tooth to 1134 tooth, okay? So what we want to try to do is put an 1140 cassette on that medium cage derailleur. They say only holds a 34 tooth. We we're going to try to make it work for a 40 tooth, okay? And we'll get into that. The 105 also comes with a short cage derailleur. Now that will only work on an 11 to 25 tooth to 11 to 30 tooth rear cassette, okay? That's Shimano specs. So once again, we're running a medium cage derailleur, which is Shimano spec is for an 11 34 tooth rear cassette. And what I did was an install an 11 40 tooth, okay? All right, moving on. Next question was chain length. I got that all the time. What was the chain length? This this setup, 5034 compact crank, 1140 tooth rear cassette. I used a out of the box 114 tooth HG601 11 speed Shimano chain. Once again, that was a 114 tooth chain. Came right out of the box that way, okay? Um, I get the question about an extension. Did you use an extension? Did you try an extension? No, no, no extension. Like a road link extension, a goat link extension. Everything's completely stock. All I did was adjust the B-screw out to give it clearance from the, the top pulley to the bottom of the 40 tooth cassette. Got my clearance in there. I didn't have to use all of the B-screw. Like I said, you can check that previous video and see all the particulars on that. Another question was delayed shifts. Did I have a problem with delayed shifts? Did it shift okay? Under pressure, of course. You know, in the video, I'm running it and it's changing gears fine. And yes, I have not have had absolutely zero issues. Uh, the thing is, has run terrific, okay? Like I said, now, I got that 114 link chain on there. Uh, set it up, you know, realistically. Could the chain maybe be a couple links shorter? And maybe it doesn't get so much slack. It bounces around sometime on rough terrain on gravel. But, I mean, you got to take the good with the bad. That's not so bad. If I was to shorten it up a couple links, then I'd have to worry about when it goes to big to big. The big 50 tooth in the front and the 40 tooth in the rear. Am I going to run it in that? No. But if you accidentally shift in it, you want to make sure that it doesn't snap your derailleur, right? Okay, so I'm at the max on that. It's in a good spot. I'll show you a picture of that in, in a minute. Uh, chain slack, like I said, no noticeable chain slack, but of course, you know, it can bounce around and may, maybe make, maybe possibly make a little bit no, more noise than it did on a normal cassette. It's only, the chain I'm using is about two lengths longer than the stock setup on the piece, I mean on the bike. So, you know, chain slack, 
Could it, could it be bouncing around a little bit more? Yes. Is it a problem? No, not for me personally. And I ride some pretty rugged terrain. So another one was, this, you know, has it going overall? I believe I covered that a few minutes ago. It's been awesome. I've had no problems. And then, you know, one of the reasons that I wanted to go to that bigger, that 40 tooth in the rear is, you know, honestly, I'm 55 years old and I'm trying not to blow my knees out. And a lot of the gravel roads that we ride, we ride in the mountain on the fire roads and gravel roads that are going up the Blue Ridge Mountains up and over. So you know, we're talking about a 30, 30 mile ride, 4,000 feet of climbing. So you're climbing all day and I'm, I'm not trying to blow my knees out. Can I push that 34 cassette? Yeah, I can. But would I rather, I'm a high cadence guy. I'm more comfortable if I can run like a 90 cadence. I like 90 versus 70. Uh, so if I can spin up the mountain and make it a little bit easier on me, I can go for you know, a longer time before I blow my knees out and then my knees are incredibly sore the next day. So I'm, honestly, I'm looking for longevity. You know, I want longevity, so I'm putting an easier gear on there and uh, it's good. And to be honest, some of the grades that we're climbing on these gravel roads are so steep, that 40 tooth, I'm at a 70 cadence on that 40 tooth cassette now because it's, it's so steep. So uh, that, that's that. Um, how does it help with climbing? Well, I just covered that. That's in there. And it, you know, the other, one of the other major questions was, is why did I do it? Well, I, I just covered that, you know, I'm 55 years old. I'd, I'd much rather not blow my knees out to prove a point and be macho and say, Hey, I'm running the 34 cassette and I'm climbing these 20, 25% inclines and I'm machoing it up the hill. I could care less about all that. I'm out here to get up the hill, to get to the top and as quick as I can. And if you're running high cadence and you're not, you're pushing a big gear, well, good for you. But, uh, you know, if you want to call it Chris Froomin' it up the hill, then that's fine too. You know, I get up it and I got good times, so I'm happy. I'm tickled with it. Now what I can do is, I'll just let you see how it runs through the gears again. You know, and just show. Now that's big in the front. That's the 50 tooth in the front. I mean, you hear it. Now that's rubbing the, the front derailleur. You're not gonna run big and big, but I mean it'll do it. Here's the, you know, here's how much slack I still have in my derailleur. So if I accidentally go to the big in the front and the big in the rear, I'm not gonna blow my derailleur. It'll run like that. I shift down one. Now that it's not rubbing the front derailleur anymore. But I mean ideally you're not gonna run that. You're ever gonna run that gear, but you want to make sure that your chain can do it if it needs to. I mean, that's big and small in the back. That's going up the cassette. We'll go back to 34 tooth in the front. Small chain ring. There's your climbing gear. Runs good in that. Goes on down. It'll run small and small in the back. And it just barely rubs the front derailleur. But I mean, like I said, you're not going to be on... You're not, generally speaking, going to be in the small ring in the front and the small ring on the back. But will it do it? Yeah, there you go. I don't have so much slack. There it is. It's running. If I get in it, it'll do it. So I've been extremely pleased with it. It's done great. I just wanted to give you an example, show, show you how it's running now. Uh, and I've probably got a thousand miles. 1,100 miles on this cassette now in this configuration and um, this is what it's this is how it's been going Okay, YouTube there you go short and sweet and to the point answer some questions. I hope it helps uh, I hope in the future if you if you decide to do this to your bike that uh, you know it, It's sort of a blueprint. It helps you get there if you want to so uh, Let me know likes dislikes uh, Subscribe hit that subscribe button uh, leave me a message. Leave me a comment. Love the comments because, uh, like I said, I'm going to answer them all. And let's talk about the bikes, okay? All right, well, I hope you liked the video. Got some interesting things coming up real soon. Hope you stay around. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it, okay? Have a good one.